A Canton nurse tells the I team that she has been waiting months to get paid for working agency shifts at a long term care facility. And she says she was owed thousands of dollars when she called the I team for help. And our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, set out to get answers. Estelle Jones has been a registered nurse for more than four decades. Now retired, she earns extra money by picking up shifts for agencies that staff long-term care facilities. Estelle says she's always been paid for her work until recently. Completed the assignment, everything. I have not been compensated for 100, 120 hours. I think it's outrageous. Owned more than $7,000 since March, Estelle says she worked for Rapid Response Staffing Agency in Canton, filling in on overnight shifts at a facility in Stoneham. I've gone into the office, I've sent her emails, I've texted her, she's changing payrolls, she's going to wire it into my account. She paid eight hours on April 3rd, one shift. No one answered the door at the company's office, and the I team got a recorded message when we called their phone number. Hello, you've reached Rapid Response Staffing Agency. Unfortunately, we're currently unavailable. The agency is owned by Ketley St. Fleur, a licensed practical nurse. This is her LinkedIn profile. The I team found St. Fleur living here at this Attleboro apartment complex. Hi, I'm looking for Ketley. One second. We waited longer than a second, but St. Floor did not come back. Instead, she called the police, telling us in a text message, rapid response has no comment at this time. We cannot comment on confidential employee matters. She's not paying, you know, mm -hmm. and I really need my money. You know, well, everyone does. Hey, Estelle. Estelle says co-workers have also had trouble getting paid. She played us a voicemail message that a colleague left on her cell phone. I got my money from Kelly. I'm all set, emailing. That's how I got my money. Kept emailing her, emailing her, emailing her. Looking for answers, the I team reached out to the long-term care facility where Estelle worked her shifts. They told us they paid rapid response staffing agencies invoices, and it was their responsibility to pay a Estelle her wages. I need this money, you know what I mean? Not paying workers is called wage theft. A January I team investigation revealed the practice is widespread in Massachusetts, costing workers billions and the state tens of millions in revenue. What's the reason that they're not paying you the money they owe you? We caught up with the head of the Attorney General's Fair Labor Division at the AG's monthly wage theft clinic. It's stealing. So if you work and don't get paid, your employer's stealing from you. It's the same as if, um, you know, they went in your wallet and took your money from you. Days after the I-team started asking questions about Estelle's money, she got an email from Rapid Response claiming there were discrepancies in her timesheets. The company deposited nearly $3,000 in her checking account. But I wouldn't have gotten any of it if it wasn't for you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Estelle tells us the company is now corresponding with her, and she's now hopeful that they will pay her the rest of the money she says she's owed. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.